Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Lyra, psychologist from Kosovo. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to be notified for each video I post. Uh, sometimes people uh, don't feel comfortable with someone and uh, they actually don't realize why this is happening, why they don't feel good in their presence. But many times he or she is emotionally abuser. So this is the reason why you don't feel comfortable with him or, or with her. So today I'm going to talk about emotional abuse. We'll look at different kinds of abuse, people being abused sexually, physically and emotionally. So it's important to talk about emotional abuse because uh, emotional uh, because emotional abuse it can be more subtle and emotional abuse uh, not quite as obvious so it can be more dangerous because people don't talk about it uh, don't reach out don't reach out for help because they actually they actually don't realize what's really happening psychological abuse involves a person's attempts to frighten control or isolate you the, uh, is it's in the abuser's words and actions as well as their as their consistence in these behaviors uh, abuse abuser can be your spouse your partner they could be your uh, business partner your parent or your caretaker but no matter who it is you don't deserve it and it's not your fault Usually, this kind of abusers do humiliation, negating and criticizing. These tactics are meant to undermine your self-esteem. They'll blatantly call you stupid or a loser or something like that. They use word always, you're always late, you're always wrong, disagreeable, screwing up and so on. Basically, they say you are not a good person. Yelling, screaming and swearing are meant to intimidate and make you feel small and inconsequential. They pick fights, expose your secrets or make fun of your shortcomings in public. If you tell them for something that's important for you, they say it's nothing. Uh, body language as uh, eye rolling smirking, head shaking, convey the same message. Joking. The jokes might have a grain of truth to them or be a complete fabrication. Either way, they make you look foolish. Insults of your appearance. They tell you just before you go out that your hair or your scarf is ugly or your outfit is clownish. Your abuser might tell you that the abuser might tell you that your achievements man, mean nothing, mean nothing, and uh, they and they even and they even claim a responsibility for your success. They can say uh, they can say also that your hobby that your hobby is childish waste of time. Really, they don't like you to participate in activities without them. Once your abuser knows about something that annoys you, they'll bring it up or do it every chance they get. Control and shame. Trying to make you feel ashamed with yourself is just another path to power. Tools of the shame and control game include telling you they'll take kids and disappear. They want to know where you are every time and insist to respond their to respond their calls and texts immediately. They might keep bank account on their name only to make you ask for money. You might be expected to account every money you spend. Belaboring your errors on long monologues make it, make it clear that they think you're beneath them. Direct orders. They say, get my dinner on the table now or stop taking pills. Orders are expected to be followed. 
you have uh, you ha you had a meeting that you should that you should that you should cancel so you didn't and now you need to face him with him and let you know how uncooperative you are trying you uh, treating you like a, treating you like a kids telling you with which friends you need you can see what what you can wear what or how much you can or how much you can eat abusers may tell you that everybody thinks that you are that you are crazy or everybody uh, say that you say that you are wrong when you are really down and out and reach out for support they'll tell you that you are too needy you are in the phone or texting and they get in your face telling you that your attention should be on them when when you when you are hurt or crying they don't do anything so if you think that you are emotionally abused you want to know what you can do first if you are emotionally abused trust your instincts know that this isn't right and you don't have to live this way to live this way don't try to reason with your abuser maybe you want to help but you can't because he or she need a professional counseling and this is he his responsibility decide that you want to respond to abuse and limit exposure to the abuser as much as you can if possible cut all ties and, and make it clear that it's over and don't look back reach out to supportive friends and family members or seek psychological help but leaving relationship if you're married and have kids it's more complex so in this case uh, better is if you seek psychological support for the abuser or for you as a couple so he can uh, he can ac accept easier this way if you go as a couple and uh, through this through the psychological support he can ex he can understand he can understand their problem and then can change can change step by step so please share this video with with all your friends that you think that are uh, emotionally abused please let me know if it was helpful for you this video and if you have any idea for my new topic see you on my next video